Hey guys, it's Leah here from The Yoga Doc and I just thought I would pop on here to talk to you a little bit about breathing in yoga. So I've had a few messages in the last month or so asking me about what the best way to breathe in a yoga class is. And I think this is largely due to the fact that during this pandemic that yoga classes have not been carrying on in person and they've been taking place remotely like through Zoom classes for example. And so you don't have necessarily that interaction so much with your individual teacher so you don't have a conversation perhaps if it's your first time or you're a beginner in yoga where you may be able to ask those kind of questions or hear or see what other people are doing in a yoga class. So it's actually pretty straightforward. Yogic breathing is in and out through the nose. You may hear about some other kind of practices of breathing or pranayama where we're using the mouth, but that's a sort of separate side of the yogic practice and one of the other eight limbs of yoga that make up yoga as a whole. So when we're practicing our asanas in our yoga class, we're breathing in and out through the nose. This slows the breath down and you basically are able to have that meditative connection with your breath as you move through your practice. By doing that, we're able to slow the breath down a lot more. We're able to connect in with our practice and focus on our breath as we move through the postures of a yoga class. The other thing to note is that when we are breathing out through our mouth, for example, when we're doing an exercise class, we're actually wasting a lot of energy. We're expelling that hot air and we're not retaining that warmth in our body. By breathing in through the nose, we're kind of reversing that process. The idea is that as we slowly breathe in this way through our asana practice, we're able to then be better prepared for when it comes to pranayama practice, which is the next stage in the yogic journey. I think this is something that people really struggle with at the beginning of their practice. It's really hard when we're always saying focus in on the breath during a class. You know, when you're concentrating on holding a pose and you're finding yourself struggling, you often find that your breath starts to become a little bit more erratic. You breathe in and out through your mouth and it's the first thing that we lose during a yoga practice. But if you actually take the time to really start to practice your breath, maybe even just sitting there for a couple of minutes at the beginning of class, breathe in and out through your nose it starts to become a little bit more habitual and if you start to find yourself struggling during a class think about your breath think about what's happening to it and start to concentrate a little bit more on slowing it down breathing in and out through the nose trying to make each inhale and exhale equal in length and you'll notice that actually that the posture becomes a lot more straightforward it becomes a lot more relaxed as your body relaxes with that parasympathetic drive of the breath so I hope if you're a beginner to yoga or you're just starting out on your yoga journey, then that was a helpful little brief introduction to pranayama or the breathing techniques that we use during yoga. If you've got any questions, then do go ahead and pop them in the box below.